Hello there, a new day, a new project. In fact, it's the same old project, but uh, I got some, uh, some conclusions, if I may say. That's the little guy I'm talking about, the mooded one, because now I find a kind of, let's call it recipe, to have a better power supply here. I just add a little piece of uh, PCB with three diodes in series to low down the current and the voltage. So now the amplifier, it's um, around uh, three volts and uh, we have around 130 milliamps. And for this kind of chip, which is supposed to be original, but is not, it's absolutely okay. Let's take a look inside. You can see here very well that's the filter at the input okay like a rule you should have a really good connection to the ground for all the pins of the, of the saw filter it have six pins you'll see it in uh, in the photo and uh, those pins really needs to be grounded very well okay let's have this back because this one goes into service so um, it's amazing even with a fake chip because this is fake i still have good results and the amplification it's around 12 db and it's more than enough let's have some measurements okay a really nice multimeter from k it's st 600 y very useful let's measure the voltage first I'm using my uh, external battery as a power supply. So obviously we should have 5 volts here. And yes, 5.2 volts. Now let's connect the amplifier. So now the amplifier is working. Yes, it should. Let's have this on volts. And we should have like 2.437 volts. And I can tell you it's doing an excellent job with this voltage. And now let's measure the current. Okay, so we have 132 milliamps. It's growing a little bit because it's getting hot, but it's stabilized around 133. So this is a very secure and uh, long-term uh, power supplying. The amplifier is getting a little hot but that's the way it have to be like i said before this is a fake i don't know but it's a working fake let me have a test with the nano vna to see about the amplification at 2.9 volts very simple test 22 db attenuator but first let's have this attenuator online so we have a 24 db here it should be 22 it's the connectors or something i need to check all these cables of mine so this is a problem so we have a minus 22.17 attenuation let's write it down minus 22.17 one five db attenuation now let's hook the amplifier okay same old trick with a middle pin save some connectors and make the path shorter yeah of course we have a residual how i call it uh, response or shape and now let's connect this to 5 volts and there we are people so we have minus 11.19 db that is 6 that is 9 0 so now we have around 10.96 db amplification and this is more than enough with a very nice defined shape on 868 megahertz. This is beautiful. Do we have some more here? 
800, no. So if we take it the other way, we can bet on around 10 megahertz with a peak at 868.2. Let's narrow this. Let's say 800, 850 megahertz to 890 megahertz. Oh. Yeah, now we can see much better. So we have like 870.4 to 868, no, 860, with a top at 868, oh, 868, absolutely, minus, it was 11.2, yeah, 11.2, yeah, around, okay, so we can bet on 10 dB amplification, and this is more than enough. And uh, also the amplifier is very stable, with uh, 2.9 volts, and uh, a very good current 130 for this kind of amplifier. But, this is obviously a fake CP fee 5189z if you have the possibility to buy or purchase pg 103 plus this is a direct replacement of this mmic so i suggest to have some originals from mouser or any other uh, electronic uh, parts shop the result the the results will be much more improved i can't measure the noise probably it's pretty noisy but it's doing the job okay so that's it for the hardware for the hardware part and now let's talk about the last seven days uh, results Okay, so let's get to numbers and uh, of course everything happened uh, this week with the network is just a joke. But I don't care because I, I really don't mean about making money. I'm just trying to understand how the network is working and how the amplifiers behave and the antennas and all this stuff. So let's have a quick look at uh, the hotspots around here. So finally turns to be okay how many 39 that's pretty okay most of the hot spots i can reach in my area 39 but let's see which of them uh, have any beacons or had any beacons this week so mockingbird it's 5.3 kilometers away test number four week number four and they have only two beacons this week, 1st of April and 7th of April. 106 with minus 0 0.5. And this one, it's really bad. Minus 1 to 3, minus 18. Hmm? I don't know. What can I say? Next one. Save? Yes, of course. Butterfly, 950 meters away. Only one for this week. Minus 105 but a very good uh, signal noise ratio, 1.2. So it's very clear, the amplifier with the filter included, mooded amplifier, it's working well. I'm sure about that. Baboon, two beacons for this week, a disaster. Mm, pretty good signals. I can say, you know, it's, it's almost like the amplifier only with no filter. But like I said, I don't trust the network anymore. It's a test anyway, an experiment, let's call it. Here, the Kestrel, 6.6 .6 kilometers away. Uh, the signals are pretty okay. Better, far better than uh, the other three weeks before. I'm not talking about numbers of beacons, you know, I'm just talking about this, uh, these figures here, RSSI and SNR. 
you see much better okay duck obviously better it's a really good improvement having the filter on straight on the amplifier this one cat 3.3 kilometers no doubt it's better this guy here only one it was very active in week two look here but the signals are better yes or no I have very good ones with the amplifier only the amplifier but generally it's okay you know people they are really how can I say they are really working the hotspots every day changing cables and antennas and so on so it's not exactly a reliable uh, testing uh, point or how you call it uh, beacon what about this minus 99 minus yeah clearly better much better mongoose 3.5 kilometers away son mm, not so good parrot clear better bobcat just one beacon not better absolutely better <laughs> and cyborg just one mm, almost the same with the first week with no filter so you see some of them are getting really nice improvements some of the hotspots no way we have a new one horse and i didn't receive that before maybe it's new installed or new antenna or something we'll see later how it's going salamander this is a new one also good signals dragonfly yeah it's pretty okay i may say better than uh week number three even the rssi it's lower but we have the noise uh, or the signal noise ratio better okay tiger way better absolutely but invalid okay i have to say you something about invalids we'll talk about that in a split of a second way better starfish 11 kilometers away corgi just one beacon first of april minus one to one minus 15 almost the same with just the amplifier without filter almost the same but better than antenna only week two you see you can pause the video and have a good look at this data. Piranha 1.6 kilometers away, worse than before. Hmm? This uh, week number three was amplifier and filter, external filter and dragon. That's all I have to say for today. Half of the list. Minus, okay, way better. No doubt about it okay the weather was uh, partially sunny but mostly 90 percent was sunny so good weather anyway so what i have to say about the invalids you know i uh, i experimented that uh, high gain antenna with the health tech uh, application so now uh, i reported a 15 db antenna and uh, that that uh, makes some uh, that makes the strong signals much tolerable, if I may say. So uh, you don't reach invalids so much like before. Uh, the point is that uh, in the same time that the AX power it's uh, getting lower. If uh, if you have like 15 dB for the antenna here in EU, uh, we have like. 1 db for tx so this is nothing i mean you you can barely reach the hot spots in a couple of hundreds of meters but um, i'm still experimenting with that now i went back to oh no i think it's 6 db now so i'm just waiting for the results the next week the next week will be with a new amplifier. I'm going to have one of those bidirectional like I did before, AB8685V, with the same antenna, same cable, uh, and uh, we'll do a test with this amplifier for a week long. Thank you for now. I hope it's useful. Like, subscribe, and see you soon with some other projects. And don't forget to have fun. Bye-bye. Oh.